Alright, hello everybody. Okay, so, I said that was it for today, but you know what? I was just feeling like more Alan Wake. I just want to just get through this. I just want to continue this, guys. So, um, yes, this might be the last part to um, episode 5, maybe. I don't know. It could be. But anyway, um, where we left off, we've um, now made it to the power plant. We are inside. We're now introduced to Cynthia Weather again. And we had to help her do a few stuff. God damn it. And there is so much shit that we have to deal with, but this time we are now going to follow her to the this pipes. We need to go. Because we need to get I something. Both, Tom and so we're just going to listen to her now. Such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. And then Tom started writing and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring it back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. Hmm. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. <sighs> He was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, no. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Well, Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built a well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Stay safe. Huh. Yeah, no doubt. She carries a lantern with her. And goddamn, lady, I take on too much shit. So you can call me selfish or, well, no, you don't need to call me selfish. I mean, why are you call me selfish when I want to go for my friend? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go through the page first. Alright, the falling helicopter. How many pages do we have? Oh, one more? Yeah, one more. God damn. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Yeah, I can tell by now all these birds are around here. It's explaining that, but... Yeesh! God damn. Now we gotta get to them. Where? Bastards. Yeah, come on, you're not gonna get through this. Um, uh, well, I don't have enough, so we probably won't bother. Yeah, we'll just keep going. We'll be fine once we get to them. Okay. Good from there. And there's more. Where? 
through the thing. What the hell? Okay. Oh shit, you serious? God damn. I was hoping they wouldn't attack me while I was like right there. Oh, what? No indication right there. Come on. Oh, okay. Right then. <laughs> Mary, Sheriff Breaker, Sarah! Oh, they're gone. The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Well, at least I left the trail, so. Thanks. <laughs> oh, well. She's actually giving me an alternative route that. Uh, route there. So, God, I said it again. <laughs> oh. Barry! Oh, they Barry! went far. Yep, oh, hear them shooting. Oh! Over here! Oh, no, you don't. Hang in there, I'm coming! Oh, nice. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Oh, God, did I seriously miss? Oh, wait, reload, 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 reload! Um, Barry. Look around you. Look at around you. Oh god. Yeah, gotcha. Where's another one? Oh shit, shit. Whoa. Flare out. Again. <laughs> A lot of these fuckers. God damn. Get in there. Trapping that room, mate. God, that was a lot of them. All right, wait. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. Hell we yeah, dude. Make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different <laughs> ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> oh, nice. Weaver will meet us at the dam. Yes. Then again, just check to see if anything's missing. Okay. Well, we only do we are we do need only we just need one more page and that's it. And this um that's it. That's episode five. And then episode six, which I think there's left, uh, less pages. Did Barry just seriously repeat that? Because I swear to God, he tried. He said something so similar to that in the last episode. It, like before we entered the helicopter, I believe. I have to go back and re go see that. <laughs> ah, we made it. We're not dead. Yes. I should have kept that. You see membership. those lights? That's the <laughs> elevator we need to take. Okay, sweet. Um. Yep. Oh, it's these gypsies again. God damn. Alright. <laughs> no, not everywhere. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. Not impossible if you can ride it. Oh, what do you think I'm trying to do? Oh shit! I can't get a shot! Well, Sarah, we did fight. No, it's not really bad. We face these things. God damn, why are you saying it's really bad? Was that it? Are we safe? Yes, we're that safe. Was... Wow. I think we're okay. Oh god, she acts like that she didn't know hey, that we Al, ran into I got these. A bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. I mean Barry is Barry found them for the first time, but Sarah, she ran into them before. Like we just ran into one. Wait, Only call one. The elevator. I'm keeping watch. I can hear something moving around. No, Barry, you're just hearing shit. Oh, no. Yep, okay. Okay. Heads up! Here they come! What the hell? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. They're coming! We have to hold them up! 
fucked up. They're not gonna freeze. They're goddamn dark monsters. They're not gonna listen. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want to use that. God damn it. Oh, that was sick though. <laughs> I'll give it that. That was sick. Alright. Oh, I thought you dead. Oh, yeah. I was just scratching my face. God damn it. Nice. Where are you going, Barry? You want to get killed? <laughs> Sorry, Barry. Didn't mean to scare you there. <sighs> We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, well, he was real. Not all the way up, that must be it. Sweet. Ah, oh, Barry, you hate everything, alright? I mean, you hate... You freaking hated coming here, I mean, come on. You were gonna grow back then. Abandon me, you assholes! You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Yep. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Oh, don't worry. Please be careful. We'll be fine. Oh, hi. 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 Don't do that. Okay. No, that wasn't so bad. Yep, that wasn't so bad at all. Down, boy. Yeah, down, boy. Get down. Oh, here it is. Last page. All right. Let's see what it is. Zane's shoebox. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Eh. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so, since that's locked down now, we have to go for the top, all up there, radio. And yeah, then again, guys, everyone believe that Zom Thomas Zane is a myth, not even real. But hey. Oh, Looks like we're in for it tonight. We're in for it now. Oh, goodbye. 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 God damn it. Holy shit. You said you got your bird on me against me. Come on. Yeah, get out of here. Fuck, I could have used a flare there, but hey. <laughs> no point. Alright, let's go. Up we go, Alan. We're almost there. Let's try and get this. Ooh. Hello there. Am I going to be using you? Oh yes we are. We are going to be using you. I was ridiculously outnumbered. 
The searchlight could even the odds. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. It's pretty cool how we can use this as a tone. There's one guy there and he's not even bothered yet. Oh, what the hell? And there's like one guy over here. Yeah, now they're coming out. Come on. Come on. Don't stomp, mate. You're not gonna stomp. You can't stomp with shit. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. No need for that. Enough. Oh, what the hell? Go no further. Did I just get hit by something? Stop. Stop now. Oh, that fell. Okay. We're running. Sis. Oh god, this is like from the first episode. Oh, yeah. Bloody first episode. Oh, shit. Goddamn getting chased by this shit again. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that, please. Oh shit, okay. I have a feeling we will die from that, so. Oh, don't. Fuck, there's so much shit. Oh, coffee! I don't want to leave with that coffee. Alright, uh, let's go. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to need it. We're gonna need a lot of energy! We're gonna need the jump! No! God damn it! Fuck! Damn it! Oh, oh, oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm up to this part. God damn it. If we have to skip parts, then we'll have to skip parts, guys. I really don't want to be dying a lot in this one. God damn it, I can't believe it. So, I don't know whether we have to make it like a big jump or something, or we have to cross, but we'll see what happens. We're up to this party. Oh, we have to get the coffee again, god damn it. Well, unless that already counts, but I'm just gonna grab it anyway. Alright, go. Oh, I fucking jumped too early. Shit. Okay, we're gonna be skipping parts now. Okay, there we go. Oh god, come on. Yeah, I jumped too early twice on that one. So that's my fault. Alright. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Run! Run! Come on! Run! Yes! We're in! Go! Woo! My god. That run, though. <laughs> you made it. Well done. Glad I was wrong. A foolish chance to take. Don't hey. worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well lit room. The power is fail safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right there. Yeah, she is. Mad. Just gone mental. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Huh. So is she taking it? She's taken over a bloody old army base. That's cra it's crazy. Or at least a bunker. Alright, cutscene. Yes. Take it. And I will anymore because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired and if you take it I won't have to do that anymore the page was autobiographical a memory from my childhood but I didn't write this it was a page written by Thomas Zane 
none of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Yes. All right. This is it, guys. The final episode. And yes, the song is playing. I didn't want this to happen, but yes. Um, that is it, guys. Honestly, I just want to keep this on. Um, yes, then again, guys. That is awesome. Cannot wait for the final episode to begin the DLCs after that, so pretty keen for that. We might as well watch the cutscene for episode 6 because I don't want to skip it at all. And yes, we do have war playing. I'm sorry, we're not using the song, just remember that. Alright, we're going to skip all this before it gets into Previously the series on Alan Wayne, right, let's watch this. I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Episode 6, Departure. Alright. Looks like we're going back to the past. I'll probably do this and then until we get to the present day. But yes, we got another past memory. Two years before this, so let's have a look at In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Okay, this must be after his parties that he used to have. So put glasses here. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Now you need painkillers? Yes, yes, you do. Because that's what drinking can give you. A fucking headache. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Hmm. Alrighty, go. There was Let's a message see. waiting for me on the machine. Well, I'll take a look at that first in a minute. But anyway, um, this is what happened two years. I think the last memory we looked at was three years ago. So we were at like the one year past mark before. Oh yeah, so if you guys remember, um, the TV used to be here, like in a box, and now it's actually all set up and shit, so, pretty sweet. Um, but I don't think anything's changed, it's all the same as usual. No sneaky coffee in here, nothing. Yeah, alright, let's listen to this message. You have one new message. Ow! <laughs> You're still asleep? Very. You see, Barry has gone off against Alice too. Like, <laughs> just a war over what, like what's right. It's crazy. All right, so this will be a TV episode, of course. So we'll let you guys watch this. Or I'll still be here, obviously. So I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed right. to be waiting for me. Let's watch. So yeah, I'll be still here, just listening. Thank you. 
to the Garrett show. We have All right. a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. <laughs> no, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is yeah, the quality was? is pretty terrible, no, so but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books, I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> Seriously, though, seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always <laughs> thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with a lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Ooh. Good? Great. I know well, what he's I talking say, about I'm there. i be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and um, you got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh man! Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> so I did also write several books. <laughs> Let's get back to the books. Well, this novel is called *The Sudden Stop*, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more do <laughs> What are you friends. doing in this? <laughs> so yeah. Musical guests, Obviously. Oh, oh to the hall was there too. At least I've been funny. Oh, there they are. And there, I there Sam Lake, guys. You guys know him. The creator of Alan Lake. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Ooh, jeez, so grouchy. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. Sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. 
Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Alright, so guys, that is it. Oh, this episode is going to get us a lot, guys, but here we are, episode 6, Departure. This is the final episode to get to the DLCs now, so then again, guys, it is crazy, and yeah, it's pretty upsetting to see Barry, like, yeah, saying goodbye and all that, and uh, not to mention, um, oh, I was going back to the past again, and I was, yeah, so basically, if you don't know, if none of you's watched the Bright Falls series before the Alan Wake was released back then in 2009, I believe, they showed off like Alan actually getting into that fight with the paparazzi, believe it or not. So I remember watching one of those parts, which I think was like the last episode, no, the second last episode. And it shows Alan just going insane and just going crazy against a paparazzi getting in his face or whatever. So yeah, that's where it's from pretty much. Like a lot will probably get confused and don't even know what the hell it that means but yeah search up alan wake bright falls series that's all you need to do and then all six episodes will be there and they're all by machinima so pretty good pretty good not about alan wake by the way it's all different so yeah it's all prequels shit so that's why i wanted to do a reaction video on it but if you guys are still interested let me know i'll still probably do it but anyway that is it the final stretch is here, guys. The final episode. So we'll see you then in the next episode. So like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, join my Steam group, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.